When we have image and spectral data, which you can see here uh, in, the, in Aztec, some people like to export all of their data into a Word document, which summarizes what the image looks like, where the spectral locations were, were and what the actual chemistry of the spectra are. In order to do that, I recommend turning on the acquisition area so we show all and we can see where the spectral locations are. We can then, in the data tree, click on a sample or on a site and we have batch report. If you press batch report and select the area, the, the folder that we want to save the Word document in, the software will then run through that site and all of the spectra. If you go to Windows Explorer, into that folder, we get a, a Word document that we can open up. And you can see in this case we get the backscatter image, the secondary electron image, and what the spectrum actually looks like. It's cropped the spectra in this case. Uh, that's a word issue on this computer. On the processing computer in the lab, that's not a problem. Um, so you can actually see what the spectrum number is, and then you can relate that back to your uh, backscatter electron image. You can see in this case that the spectrum locations haven't actually exported despite, despite the fact that we turned them back on. If that happens, it means again deeper in the preferences there's been a setting that's been changed. So we go to Tools, Preferences, Reports, Show Acquisition Areas, we want to show all in Reports, say OK. And if we then right click on the site, Batch Report, Select the folder, it will save a new Word document containing each of these spectra. It has a timestamp on it, so it hasn't overwritten the earlier one. If you open that, you can now see that the backscatter image has the spectrum locations, and then we can link up where the spectra chemical data is from.